turned into a real, oh, it's been a really nice day all day long. Not like yesterday where it started off, you know, foggy and developed into a really sunny day. Here it's just carried on through from the morning to, uh, to now. We are at, I think, where are we at? Um, two, two, some quarter after two, two, three. And uh, yeah, it's warm. It's also warm. I think it's like 15 or 20. Not sure. I didn't look at the thermometer when I got up. Julia, I didn't. It was not my intent. You're shedding. You're shedding. Yeah. No, you're not hopping up here. Oh, it's Aggie. <laughs> yeah, it's not Julia, it's Aggie. And Aggie is a very, very cuddly. And so is Julia. But uh, Julia, you can't trust her cuddliness. Aggie, you can. She will just, she will just cuddle and cuddle and cuddle. Yes, she will. Purr and cuddle. Sorry, you're zippy. You're, you're, you're static. And I just zapped you. Yes. I'm, you're coming up here? I don't really have a, a lap, right? It's, I'm supporting myself, I'm not lapping. Not lapping, mm -hmm. you can come up, but I'm not lapping and it'll hurt. We gotta cut your nails. I'm backing you, <laughs> I'm backing you. Yeah, so I'm, I'm also, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, Storing some energy in my solar-powered watch. This is a very old watch. I got it like years ago. I can't remember the date. And it said at the time that the battery lasts about nine years or something like that. I looked it up and it's lasted way longer than that because I've had this watch for a long, long time. And every summer I sit outside, right? And I put it out in the sun for days so that it can store up for the whole year. Well, this winter at one point, it ended up being the wrong time. What's going on? It actually stopped. I think it was over Christmas or something when I wasn't wearing it. And um, so uh, this March break, I've, well, what I've, what I took to doing at that point was putting it under the light. I did that for a few days in the in the living room. Ooh, black squirrel, gray school. <laughs> um, yeah, see, that's what you do, and you poke holes in my jeans. So it's been fully charged, whatever. It's been charged, sufficiently charged. But this March break, I decided let's do some sun shining. So I have been putting it in the window, uh, kitchen, laundry room, kitchen, laundry room, bedroom, <laughs> moving around the house as the sun comes around the house and trying to charge it up for the summer, for the rest of the winter. I don't know. It's probably starting to, uh, try. Yeah. it's, it's kicking the bucket. I'm going to have to buy myself a new watch. Mm-hmm. So that's the savings, right? I've had a watch for 10, 15 years, probably 15 years, that I have never bought a battery for. Okay. As opposed to watches that you have to buy batteries for. I don't know how regularly you have to buy a battery for a watch. I haven't had a watch like that in years. Anyway, I... Uh, I'm charging my watch. I went uh, to my local ATM bank. There's no Bank of Montreal up here on the west side. It's downtown. So I have at the end of my street, however, a, a oh, an ATM bank. It used to be a full bank be a full out, full scale bank, small, full scale bank. And then they decided to uh, save money. Didn't have the volume of traffic here. 
change it to an ATM, and everything that's parked beside it, where the actual bank used to be, benefits from having the ATM next to it. And right now it's a drugstore, an optician, um, it's an optician and a drugstore. Actually, it's the drugstore where I got my my uh, booster vaccine. Yeah, so that's kind of nice. I have my ATM right there. I just need to walk to the end of the street, and there's my ATM and my pharmacy. It's worked out nicely. Not my optician, however. My optician is on the way to work. Yes. Yeah, so uh, I went to the ATM this morning to get some money out so that I could pay Gail for the bags that she picked up at Costco for me on Monday, I think, Monday or Tuesday. Today being Thursday. And um, they said, oh, sorry, this ATM is not dispensing any money at the moment. I, Great, you're empty. So I'm going to uh, head back there momentarily as soon as I'm finished posting this video and I'll go see if money has shown up. I think Gail will be there at her place. A, a, a very old friend of hers um, who had a husband who for the last 40 years has been incredibly sick. Both these people have been incredibly sick for the last 40 years, so they're, <laughs> yeah, and, and an old, an old couple. Um, she's, she was, I know I'm telling you this, she is an incredibly heavy lady who is sickly, and he was a six foot six guy who has been sick for years. Really tall, really heavy. I've never met these people, but I've heard about them. So it's Bonnie and Jim. And Jim has been on his deathbed for years. <laughs> and uh, he passed away two days ago. So uh, I, I don't know if Gail will be available for a walk or not. She thinks so, because she cannot spend, she's, on her, she's not going to spend all her day with this woman, right? Yeah. I'm going to try and give her her money. $55. I use the bags to earth bags. I like these bags. I don't like the plastic bags, even though they say they're recyclable. From what I hear, they're really not for a very long time, whereas the Bags to earth are made of paper. Yeah, Aggie, they're made of paper. They are. Yes, your claws are so sharp. I can probably clip your claws. Yes. How do you get out of... Oh no, because you're dunk into my, into my leg. I had to pry her nails out of my leg. Jeans. Jeans and leg. So there we go. So that's my, my, I'm going to do right now. Right now, I'm going to finish this video and I'm going to um, go to the bank.